Hi friends, welcome to our online course. Today we are going to see another precision beam machining technique that is iron beam machining. It is known as IBM in short. IBM is carried out in a vacuum chamber using charged iron ions uh, fired from a iron source towards a workpiece by means of a accelerating voltage. The mechanism of material removal in this process differ from the uh, those in electron beam uh, machining and plasma beam machining. Okay. Uh, so in iron beam machining, the atoms are ejected from the surface by another ionized atoms with uh, which bombard the work material. Accordingly, uh, this process it is also known as iron etching or iron milling or iron uh, iron polishing also now let us uh, look at the iron beam machining system the system consists of a iron source that produces sufficient intense beam of ions for the removal of the atoms from the work surface by impinging of ions then a heated tungsten uh, filament acts as a cathode from which the electrons are accelerated by means of high voltage which is around 1 kilo volt uh, towards the anode now now here in this figure uh, this process I have shown in which the schematic uh, the schematic is uh, shown where cathode is there which will uh, responsible for emitting the electrons and there will, there will be some intermediate electrodes and uh, of course there will be an anode to which uh, these electrons will attract it however there will be uh, controlling electrodes which will uh, guide these electrons spinning uh, electrons towards the workpiece and this will hit the workpiece at a particular point in which instead of the heating mechanism the atoms will be removed or ejected because of the heating of the atoms or ions on this workpiece then therefore uh, this is rather than thermal process in which melting and uh, evaporation does uh, take place uh, in case of the electron beam machining and plasma beam machining here atoms will be removed or ejected out because of the heating of the this ions on this work okay work uh, as well as workpiece surface as we have already indicated the process also needs high vacuum and therefore the entire chamber will be connected to a vacuum chamber there will be again elect electrostatic lens lens system which will uh, in fact guide or control the beam of uh, this beam uh, ions onto the workpiece during this uh, passage of these electrons from the cathode towards the anode they interact with the argon uh, atoms in the plasma source to produce a argon ions then a magnetic field is produced between the cathode and the anode which makes the electron uh, spiral then the produ uh, products produced the ions are then extracted from the plasma towards the workpiece which is mounted on the water cooled table so this is uh, about the explanation of uh, ion beam machining system now let us uh, discuss about material removal rate okay so now lo look at here uh, in this process once the ions strike the machine surface obliquely uh, obliquely the atom e e injection occurs due to the collision and the splattering yield that is the uh, num number of the atoms yielded per incidence ion are higher for the oblique cutting than normal incidence the, the material is removed by the transfer of the momentum from the in, uh, incident ions to the atoms on the surface of the material then the atom removed from the surface are reflected away from the material okay. so energy is greater than the binding energy uh, of uh, 5 to 10 electrons hold are needed to replayed uh, are needed to effect the removal of the atoms at higher energies sufficient uh, momentum causes 
removal of the several atoms from the surface the yield and hence the machining rate depend on so depend on the binding energy of the atom in the metal being machined it also varies due to the introduction of gases the each rate okay uh, okay which can be calculated using the metal formula also so let us move for uh, about the accuracy in the surface uh, defect of the uh, this iron beam machining uh, now machining of a small dimensions as a 10 to 100 nanometer uh, are possible using this iron beam machining accuracy level of uh, plus minus 1% with the repeatability repeatability of plus minus 1% uh, have been reported and smoothing of uh, smoothing to a surface finish of less than one micrometer can be obtained okay so this uh, this is about the accuracy and surface quality let us uh, uh, discuss about the last part that is a uh, applications of iron beam machining so look at the applications of this process the uh, iron beam mach machining process is uh, used in smoothing of the laser minus as well as reducing the thickness of the thin films without uh, affecting the surface finish in this regard uh, thinning of the samples of the silicon to a thickness of 10 to 15 uh, micrometer uh, have been reported using argon ion impinging at a normal incidence and this is uh, reported by the mc george uh, in the year 1988 using two opposing beams samples for, for transmission electrons uh, electron microscopy can be produced this is another application and this is very critical application because the sample preparation for the transmission electron microscope is a critical job which needs very thin samples to be prepared another application that is the polishing and shaping of optical surfaces by directly uh, splattering of the of perf uh, performs in glass silica and diamond can be performed using patterning mask now the process can produce closely packed structured cones in different materials including copper nickel stainless steel gold and silver also so atomic uh, another application that is atomically clean surface can be produced by uh, ibm process that are used in the addition of the gold film uh, films to silica and aluminum oxide substrates layers of the uh, surface oxide can be removed by using higher iron energies iron beam machining can mill a line uh, width of 0.2 micrometer which is used in the fabrication of bubble memory devices of the depth to the width ratio up up to is one so this is about the to, uh, iron beam machining uh, let us summarize what we have discussed in this topic in this topic we have discussed uh, three uh, uh, points that is the uh, introduction to iron beam machining then iron beam system components and uh, mrr with the uh, surface quality and at last we have discussed the applications about this uh, i hope this session was informative and interesting Thank you. Thank you very much. Hopefully you might have enjoyed the lecture. Then please do like the video and know your thoughts in comments. Please do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. After subscription, you can press the bell icon to never miss the notification regarding our new videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.